Sunday. I understand that the playmaker has a smile on his face. Yeah. That means he's recovered from the debacle that took place <laughs> last weekend in Big D. This change in Big D. This change in Big D. I guess that's a reason he's smiling, acting like it makes up for the fact that they got to wait until at least another year before they can even talk about being a championship contender. I'm not letting them get away with that. The playmaker has explaining to do. Plus, we had an AFC and NFC championship game. One was a dud. One was epic. It doesn't matter. Epic. It's first take. That means everything is epic. The boys in the house. I'm live from L.A. He's in New York City. It don't matter. It's still first take, baby. Let's go. Let's go. The Chiefs entertaining the Cincinnati Bengals for the right to go to Super Bowl 57. Mahomes will fire it late for the end zone. Caught! Marquez Valdez Scantling! On fourth and six, he flings it deep downfield. Oh. Chase makes the catch! Oh, There's the signal! Touchdown! 17 seconds left in regulation. He's going to get a first down, and now gets hit late! It'll be a 15-yard penalty on top of the gain. The biggest kick of his Chiefs' life. Butker's kick is up, and it is good! The Chiefs are going to end the season in Super Bowl 57. Good <laughs> Good day. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into First Take. Thank you for starting your week with us. Crewed up, per usual. Danny Boy in the house, fresh from the game. The whole fam. Good. I saw that game was times. great. The game playmaker, great. Michael Irvin, yes, is back. Fix your face. I'm Molly. And Stephen A. Hey. got a haircut on the West Coast. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, why is he in my chair? What, what, what? <laughs> Who, what Dan? is that? Well, why is he sitting there? Why isn't he on the other side? Why does he have to be in my chair? What is, what is that about? Why wouldn't I be? Because you're cheap. And cheap people <laughs> What's he do? don't sit, sit in, in my chair. chair. Hey, no. Stephen A. No, listen. <laughs> Stephen hey. A. One, I am hey. cheap. Two. Father said you got a haircut. I don't. I, I didn't get. Yeah, a, I didn't get a haircut. A haircut. I, 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 didn't, I didn't get a haircut. I didn't get a haircut over the last. I mean, I've got a haircut, but it was a few days ago. Oh. Hey, hey when Stephen A. was messing with. Dan the other day. Yeah, you can say, about Dan, Dan, Dan. hey, yo, Dan, come, come uh, talk to me when you fifty. Um, come uh, talk to me when you fifty plus, baby. Come talk to me when you fifty plus. Come talk to me when you look, uh, see if you look this uh, good. Let's go. When you were on Dan the other day about the parking pass, man, I watched. I text Dan. I said, Dan, you did. Hey, pay for the parking pass, man. You yeah, got your listen, family with you. What are you so going cheap. to do? Dan said, I'm not paying that guy tomorrow. Nope. Stop texting me on this. Right? Nope. I'm, I'm we, this. we were in the parking lot yesterday. Listen, you guys are, <laughs> a, you parking guys, lot yesterday. You guys are a lot of fun, and everybody at home enjoys that? watching you. But we also have actor and director Michael B. Jordan oh, yeah. joining us live in the next block. So what we're looking talent. forward to that. What a talent. Yeah, for sure. What a gift. Right. We ready to talk some football let's championship go. games? Yes, let's let's get it. Yeah. The AFC championship game went down to the wire at Arrowhead on third and fourth, Cincinnati's 47-yard line. Patrick Mahomes scrambled to gain a first down as Mahomes stepped out of bounds. Joseph Asai shoved him from behind. The two tumbled to the ground on Cincinnati's sideline. Asai whistled for unnecessary roughness, and that penalty led to Kansas City's game-winning field goal in a 23-20 win. Patrick Mahomes is now going to his third Super Bowl oh. in his first five seasons as a starter in the NFL. Beyond impressive showtime. What's the plan now? I'm going to celebrate this one first, so uh, I'm going to make sure I get back to my team. I don't think we have any cigars, but we'll be ready to go at the Super Bowl. Arrowhead, you can go to Mahomes' house. Arrowhead, can, they, they, they can save that or kick, that, kick rocks, baby. They can save that for some other time, man. They, they, they posted a lot of bulletin board material. They don't mean unless you come in here and play. All right, again, here was the key play. As Mahomes stepped out of bounds, Joseph Asai shoved him from behind and was called for unnecessary roughness. That mm. penalty led to the Chiefs' game-winning field goal. Mm. Now, credit to Asai fielding questions after the game with teammate B.J. Hill by Asai. Take a listen. I was just in full chase mode, and I was trying to, um, I was trying to push him to maybe um, get him going backwards because I knew he was going for that sideline. I was trying to make him go backwards, get that clock running, but... Um, I, I didn't know. If, I, I haven't seen it yet. I didn't know how far out of bounds we were, and I got to learn from experience, and um, I got to know not to not to get close to that quarterback when he's close to that sideline. If, if there's anything that could uh, possibly cause a penalty in a dire situation like that, I got to do better. These guys mean a lot to me, and um, I, 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 we come every day and we work hard for each other. And to know that they have my back is uh, is it. 
is extremely, um, it's giving me peace right now for sure. Heartbreaking for him. Obviously, Stephen A., a lot of people upset about the officiating in both games, really. Tell me this. Did Casey take it or did the Bengals blow it? Well, I think the Bengals blew it because of, you know, obviously that play. I think that if he didn't push Mahomes while he was out of bounds, that extra 15 yards uh, would not have gotten. And I don't know if the uh, I don't know if we're not talking overtime. I think the game would have won and over would have gone into overtime. That's not to say the Chiefs would have lost uh, because if Mahomes had gotten the ball first, who knows what would have happened. The likelihood is that he would have put it in the end zone because he's just that fantastic. No doubt about it. But I, I just want to take a moment, guys. Um, because I watch, obviously, Dan, I watched you guys on Get Up earlier this morning or whatever. Uh, I, I just got to give the Bengals a lot of love, man. Seriously, man. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, Osei played a good game. That defense showed up. Um, people are talking like, you know, bulletin board material. I hear my brother Rex Ryan talking his talk. I mean, you gave him a, be quiet. Why? I mean, everybody acted like they got bum rushed. They got beat down. That's a hell of a game. Yeah. Cincinnati came and they Great showed game. up and they fought their heart Great. out. I mean, th this right. game, this game, if it were not for that penalty, a legitimate argument could be made. It's going into overtime. They were going back and forth, back and forth. Bro, Joe Burrow threw two interceptions, didn't have his greatest game, but on a fourth and six, he connects with Jamar Chase. You see Jamar Chase, he was talking jump before the game. He showed up. T. Higgins was talking a little. He showed right. up. Joe Burrow was no scrub. He didn't have the game that Patrick Mahomes got, but I mean, you got people out here talking like, like Cincinnati talked and then they didn't show up. The defending AFC champions rolled up in the Arrowhead Stadium and they and they balled and they fought. Yeah, they lost, but it was a tight game. It could have went either way. Obviously, the officiating was god awful. I mean, just a, I'm not accusing the NFL of being rigged or anything like that. We're not going that far, but it was just awful. And for me to have Saturday night, which we'll get into later, and to watch the NBA officiating screw up the way that they did, and then to watch the NFL screw up the way they did 24 hours later, it's it's a, it's a pretty bad weekend for officiating. Let's just put it that way there's no way around it but in the end I'm going to tell you that Burrow throwing being uncharacteristic in his performance throwing those two interceptions not getting any kind of running game whatsoever from Mixon and still being in this game and it comes down to oh saying props to him man listen standing up doing the interview he was heartbroken we know it he know he made a yeah, mistake or whatever but he played his butt off man I, 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 I had I have a lot of respect for what I saw, Cincinnati, the chirp like what they were chirping. They showed up against Patrick Mahomes. And he did, I mean, they 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 looking at him. I'm like, I didn't know he would be able to do what he did with a high ankle sprain. The way mm -hmm. that he played last night, I mean, it was absolutely sensational on his part, no doubt about it. But to see Cincinnati fight the way that they fought, I mean, I don't have any problem with them talking because as far as I'm concerned, they showed up and played. It came down to me to that penalty that really, really cost them. And that's why I say I, I think they blew it because that penalty to me, if that that doesn't happen, I believe we're going into overtime. That's the only reason I say that. Yeah, and, and it was a great game, guys. It was a great game. And, 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 and my heart bleeds for that young man, man, because I know, I know, <laughs> I know he's going to live with that the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. The rest of his life, he's going to think about that moment, that play every year. He lines up to play football somehow, somewhere. I hope that pain pushes him to his greatest promise, and he does great things in the league. But I know I've been in that situation. I got plays running in my head for the rest of my life, and I walked away with three rings. So I know that's going to stick with him forever. So you feel for him. But, boy, this ain't got nothing to do with Cincinnati, even with that penalty, giving this game away. Y'all, this got everything to do with that man raising his hands up and saying, I am he. All y'all kept trying to make somebody else me. That's what Patrick Mahomes is saying. Dan, you know I love you, Dan. Hold you know on. I love you, Dan. But last week when we sat right here, y'all, we were right in here when Dan said, Boy, I'm looking at boy, I'm look I'm looking at Joe Burrow. And what and I, I said. think he's the best quarterback in the National Football League. Right. That's what you say. I think he's the best quarterback in the National Football League. And you started that little heat thing rolling downhill. And then the the, 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 the politician, they gonna jump in and call it Barrowhead and all of that. You put this man legacy right on display. And this man said, no, 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 no. I am he. 
on one leg. On one leg. Hey, if Patrick Mahomes was totally healthy and he had Tyreek Hill, he was at full strength and he won that game and, and, and Joe Burner made all those mistakes, I said, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe they blew it. But Patrick Mahomes did it without Tyreek Hill and on one leg after all of y'all had said that he's not the best in the league. You saw every one of his teammates come up and say, we got your back. Yes, you are the best in the league. And don't tell me about bullet to board material. It did make a difference in this game right here. If ever you get a guy right after they win the game, the first thing players are talking about is what they heard and what they read. It makes a difference. No doubt. Everybody will say, that don't make no difference. They're going to play hard. No doubt I'm going to play hard. But in every game, in every game, it's going to come down to, okay, it's not about skill. This is about will. This is man to man who wants it more. And when I start thinking about how you disrespected me and how you talked about me, I am going to get some more in my will to put on this field and win this game. And that was what we saw last night. Kansas City, good job for standing up and taking that crown back. Because that's what Patrick Mahomes did. That's what Kansas City did. All these teams spent the whole year. And I was thinking about this the other day. Every team in the AFC, AFC West, they build their whole roster to take down Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. And Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes just said again. Yeah. I am he. Dan O, I am he. You are not, really not, all right. Not anybody else, all right, all right. but Patrick Mahomes okay. said I am he. All right, to answer the question, the Chiefs took this. The Bengals did they not took it. Patrick and really Chris Jones. Let me make something very because you just <laughs> you just try to come at me right here. This is what I said last week. I said, right now, Joe Burrow's the best quarterback in football. That being said, Patrick Mahomes the best player. Right. And he's the best player I've ever seen. He's the best playmaker in the NFL. No, people are no mad. doubt. That's exactly what you said, Dan. Right. But that ain't what they heard in the locker room. The only heard Patrick was Joe Burrow was the I, best. Oh, I since guarantee Patrick, you he cares. Since Patrick stepped foot on the field in week 17 of his first, second season in the NFL, I was like, this kid's different. Right. Or first season right. in the NFL. Right. I've called him the best right. player in the league for years. What I was right. saying last week was right. when it came to, like, the rhythm and timing, anticipation, all that oh, stuff, I understand. Joe Burrow was doing that better. What happened yesterday was exactly what I said, the inexplainable. That's what Patrick does. Can you right. explain the right. Kelsey touchdown? Right. No, no, no. I'm with you. But how the heck does that happen? Can you explain the MVS touchdown? But, but, you but, sit but, there and go, but that's what Patrick is. Right. Patrick's the best player in right. the sport. Joe right. Burrow was quarterbacking better. That's not a debate. That's a real right. thing when it came to – I understand what it. the bullet points of like, oh, quarterbacking is this, 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 this. Joe Burrow was cumulatively doing that better. What we saw was another vintage performance by Patrick. The reason why we go with that, we go with that. We go fight like brothers. Let me just say, no, no, let me just say, no, because you know, because you know, I'm here. But let me just say this, because when I went to therapy with my wife, she said they said to me, they said, you know, there are two parts of a conversation. It's what one says and how one receives. See, you got to realize what you said, but how they received it in the locker room is, oh, Joe Burrow's better. And then we got Barrow, Barrowhead. All of these things added up to something, and you saw it. I don't let think anybody actually let thought me, Joe me, Burrow was a quote-unquote better player than Patrick Mahomes. Oh, no, 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 no. No, but, 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 no you know how to break it down. But they only heard sure. that they, he was better. And that's why they made the statements after the game um, that 15 is the guy. That's what made it so right, great. Right, right, right. I, I watched them guys protect their quarterback. This, that's what made it so quick, great. Stephen a, real quick, ahead, Stephen A., before ahead, you jump in, because I want to put ahead. into context what kind of happened really on both sides of the football. Right. So I thought uh, Chris Jones had an Aaron Donald type of performance. He was yes, he 38 did. passes yeah. by yep. Cincinnati, 30, yep. 31 double teams on Chris Jones. So it was either Chris won or somebody else did. Steve Spagnuolo did a great job. But then double I, up on him on that last right. sack. Right. 100%. I have no idea that they didn't chip him something. But his performance was so dominant that 